kupata kupewa uh, mtu mwingine Attorney General Paul Kihara this morning appeared before Parliament to respond to queries concerning Aror and Kimura Dam projects, which have been marred by corruption scandals. In September this year, President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered cancellation of the Kimura Dam project due to technical and financial unfeasibility. According to the Technical Committee, chaired by Principal Secretary for Infrastructure, Professor Paul Maringa, the 22.2 billion, sh billion shillings Kimorel Dam was found to have been overpriced and that the project was neither technically nor financially viable. At the same time, the Technical Committee recommended for downsizing of Aror Dam project from 28.3 billion shillings to 15.4 billion shillings. We do raise the issue of jurisdiction, but we make the concession that there could be cross-cutting issues. And on the basis of that concession, we requested for specifics of the issues that the Senate, and in particular this committee, wanted us to discuss. Now, we did not receive those specifics. Now, of course, Mr. Chairman, you have raised a number of issues which we are comfortable discussing. So the point we are making is that we have never held the position that the Office of the Attorney General, as Office of the Attorney General, that the Senate has absolutely no jurisdiction when it comes to matters, courts, matters judiciary. You may have jurisdiction, depending on the specific issue, that you approve it, the specific issue that is the subject of your question. So as the office of the Attorney General, as a state law office, what are you doing to advise, especially on the usage of miscellaneous amendments? Because parliamentarians, as you are saying, are supposed to make the law. But now we have the executive and the judiciary making the law nowadays. So, and more so when the memorandum comes from the president, when state miscellaneous amendments come from the executive, what is your view? What is your opinion? What are you doing to guide them? Because, of course, we can't interpret the laws uh, as legislators just the way uh, the judiciary cannot make the law or uh, the executive. Uh, finally, because he has said uh, something about uh, the, the, the judges, uh, the hiring of judges and judicial, we saw the president refusing to gazette uh, the, office, uh, the, the judges that had been appointed to court of appeal by GAC. Yet the the Attorney General is a member of the of the Judicial Service Commission. You would advise us. This is a representative and advises the president, and he sits at the Judicial Service Commission. It is the same same Judicial Service Commission that recommended and uh, participated in the interview of these judges, where the president at the end of the day uh, refused or uh, declined, let me not use the word uh, refuse, declined to gazette those photo of appeal judges. We have seen judges giving pronouncements which seems to support the idea that we allow our children who are below 18 years to start having sexual relationships. You all know, once you start sex, it goes without saying they will be married. Of course, because I'm saying you cannot really demarcate marriage and sexual relationship. So, in short, through those kind of pronouncements, judges are not promoting child marriage. That is very wrong. That should be left to parliamentarians. But not a person who is not elected by one inch to be seated here in Mirimani and making such kind of a pronouncement. What is the AG doing in judicial service to ensure judges do not encroach on the mandate of the duly elected people, representative of the one age? The second one is the debate concerning same-sex relationships. The Court of Appeal, in a matter it was handling regarding a commission that was being established, an organization purportedly to fight for gay rights, in obita dictum, gave a suggestion that it is lawful to engage in same-sex relationships. Again, that is unlawful. It is the work of parliamentarians 
to sit down and make such a pronouncement. They cannot, under the guise of judicial review or 